swole, man. They're swole. Uh, they're going to be... Gonna be like, you're not going to be able to extend your arms all the way tomorrow. Yeah, this is like five hours later, and I'm yeah. already starting to feel I'm being sore. I know I'm going to be in a world of hurt mm. for the next four days. Speaking of feeling sore... In the first game of the 2 o'clock hours, <laughs> it's a good segue. JFK wore out the bad news beers mm. in a 16 to 0 thrashing Damn. that none of us saw because we were all involved in the next game. And that none of us heard about because nobody was able to remember the game because they were too inebriated on the sidelines. No, mm. they just weren't there after the game. That's to right. talk about it. Yeah, that too. But uh, and what else is there to say about it? Obviously, uh, JFK... Um, Knocked the rust off from their first yeah, game. <laughs> whatever sloppiness they had in them uh, when they played the Pounders, they obviously shook it off because 16 runs is a hell of a lot of fucking runs to score. Pardon my language. You're talking uh, over three runs an inning. Yeah, that's, uh, that's tough, math. man. Thank you. Tough times for uh, the bad news beers. So I don't know... Um, yeah, I know that they like to get out there. They do the grilling out, the tailgating. Uh, they eat some sausages, some hot dogs, some hamburgers. Do they have that's... three types of meat? Three types? No, I don't know. I'm just oh. speculating because they haven't fucking given me any yet. Yeah. And that's all in good fun. But, they haven't you know... greased the commissioner's palms with a little bit of uh, smoked meats, which I enjoy <laughs> so much. I mean, I I, I I enjoy some cooked meat just as much as the next guy. Don't get me wrong. But if I'm gonna come out there in the in the wintry conditions on Saturday morning, I love three things. I love hamburger meat. I love bread and I love cheese. Those constitute and all the ingredients for a good cheeseburger. And daddy, I love four things. But I can't go out there, <laughs> and enjoy no. myself, have some beverages, eat some dogs, some bratwurst, whatever's growing, and then get the shit kicked out of me, sixteen to zero. And drink some beers too. Yeah. yeah. Definitely they drink some beers. Do they drink beers? I have heard that. Oh, I've read okay. it. So, uh, you know, tough game, man. I don't know. Uh, you know, I guess we'll have to look forward. We don't really know what happened other than looking at the score. We can assume what happened is that JFK yeah. scored a lot of runs. Yep. Yeah. I guess we'll have to wait for Karen's recap. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, bad news beers. 0-3 team. I think the only, maybe the only winless team in uh, True. the Winter League. Yep. Only winless team. So a lot of a lot of talk early on, but not a lot of play to back it up. But they're they're good, man. I mean, they are got, they? I mean, well, no, they got good individual <laughs> players, but yeah. I just don't know. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to gauge where they're at and like what their yeah what their goals are. So maybe they're just you know if they're happy to be out here having fun. That's that's cool. That's cool. I just uh, get it. Yeah, no, I, I just think that we're gonna see much better from them as the season goes on. Yeah, as they continue to gel together. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd expect them to be a much tougher draw later in the season than what we're seeing so far. So, so they should have jello shots together mm -hmm. and share them with the team they're playing yes. next week or mm -hmm. in two weeks. It's and that'll probably help their outcome. <laughs> Do we play them in two I, weeks? Oh. I think. <laughs> well, I got, they, got pan, they got panic attack and um, yeah. in two and weeks. No, we got jelly friends in two weeks. Never mind. Whenever you play us. Whatever. Three weeks. Three weeks. February 9th. Mm -hmm. That's when they'll put it all together. No, come on, we'll do this. <laughs> and then the us, the four reference us, the Peninsula Pounders. To us. Yeah, I know that. I'm not a part of y'all. You know, I'm wearing this collar You're just shirt. A supporter. Yeah. <laughs> I got this out of my own closet. It's nice to have fans. Yeah. The uh, Pounders, 12 4 over the Jelly Friends. A game that really for the first couple innings went uh, as the first game for the Pounders did. Mm -hmm. Kind of messy out there, but major props to the Jelly Friends. A wonky series of events in the first inning. Uh, Pounders loaded them up, kicked one or two runs in, and then... I kicked, I kicked two runs in. Okay. Uh. <laughs> then I got them first. I saw a ball off the right fielder, and then it... He missed it, but it went yeah. off his knee, and it rolled up to the guy standing in the second baseline. So then I just sort of stopped and did the little, did the little goofy do? baseline dance, waiting yeah. for him to tag me. I and got, then I got all set up breaking yeah, loose. Yeah, yeah. Brent me. turns around, uh, me being the head umpire. Yeah. Brent rounds third and starts chug lugging home. <laughs> the throw gets out, Mr. Wentworth at home, and then like by fucking a mile too, like. <laughs> 
hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, I didn't run through a signal. Like, I got to go. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, I don't know if my speed might have been overestimated because, I, like you said, I was chug-a-lugging down, and then the ball's right there, like... Fuck. So, got tapped, and then the, the uh, home plate catcher relays it to third to get the Josh Joyner rounding to third base, the guy who initially kicked the ball that should have been caught and tagged him right there. I think it was on his shoulder no, or his he arm. Was or, yeah, the he was sliding in the ball. That was yeah, yeah. yeah. He was very close to being safe. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was just, just an unlucky, a crazy just throw. Like a, wow. A parent throw. But still, nonetheless, got him out for the <laughs> triple play. Well, yeah, when you look at it, like, you get the first uh, – five kickers on base successfully without an out. And you think you're on your way to a blowout. And just like that, it turned away. You know, but they, um, you know, certainly there was uh, some base running errors on our part. We were a little aggressive all game, really. But uh, that's not to take away from Jelly Friends, man. They made some, some throws that were nice, strong, crisp, on-target throws. Like, mm -hmm. that throw, that there was a good relay from the uh, – the guy who tagged you out to the pitcher to home. So I was beat by a mile, but it's yeah. also in part to their skill, absolutely. Um, there's some, yeah, there's yeah. some really close ones. Yeah. I remember Jill sliding into home, yeah. uh, on a, and it was just a, a, a nice on-target throw by Jelly Friends to get yeah. her out by just a smidge. But um, And speaking of Jill, and I, and forgive me, guy and Jelly Friends, beautiful kick that scored their first two runs. First thing there, right down the right field line that Jill's and almost got to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sliding in on her knees, went down between her legs, but great kick, just dropped it over first, right down the right field line. The Jelly Friends, they, uh, I was impressed with the, their offense. I think uh, defensively, they struggled because we, overall for the day, we had, like, I think our on base percentage was eight. 37 or 838 or something like that so like we got on base at will obviously that reflected in the 12 runs that we scored um but the jelly friends offense i think is uh pretty pretty good man they they have good bunters they have good kickers i mean they just uh they they can put up some runs and you yeah. saw it too in your yeah. first game too they threw up seven runs on you guys pretty dynamic explosive like they this was a Close game for most of it. For three innings, we actually, uh, I think we had a 4 3 lead going into the fourth inning, and that's when we scored six runs in the fourth and another couple in the. Yeah, yeah, I think it was 4 I think it was 4 3 uh, going into the fourth, and then you guys just unloaded. And it was kind of like what, what was the Achilles heel for us in the first game, uh, where they put up all those runs in the fourth inning against us. But one thing that I noticed was with the Jelly Friends was the pitching. And our game was, was top-notch. And when it got to you guys towards the latter part of the innings, you could, start, could see them getting a little fatigued, a little errant throws, a lot of balls being thrown. Mm -hmm. uh, so they didn't have a doubleheader in week one. They had one this past week. Uh, you know, again, in week three, they're playing only one game. But I think they're going to get more about, like, the pitching and how to go about that uh, to not gas out. Uh, what what seemed to be gassing out there in the last uh, game of the double. Yeah, we game. saw I think John Vrooman and uh, Jason Burnett. Vroom, 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 vroom. Uh, man, that them balls had some speed out there. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. And the magic of Eric the Beard wore off. Will the magic of Ray Lewis wear off? Topic for next week, perhaps. <laughs> it will. It will. Go Niners. I do want to give a shout out. Um, we talked about the Lady Pounders uh, in the in the first part of the episode. But um, <clears throat> overall for the day, they continued it this week, uh, or the, in the second half of the doubleheader. They were 13 for 18, five runs, eight RKIs, one walk, and three sacrifices for the day. So uh, just amazing work. Uh, Nicole Plesha was four for four with three runs, an RKI. Uh, Jill Sims, five for five with an RKI. I mean, just overall uh, pretty... Pretty damn fortunate to have some some very awesome ladies uh, on on the team. Not many teams uh, had that luxury. So hey, ladies! Hey! <laughs> so just great, great overall performance all day long. Really, uh, yeah, we were shorthanded. We only had twelve people all day, uh, you know, from you know available. So we didn't really have too many. You know, we had one sub, which was one of the ladies. Yeah. You know, 
the guys. And Alyssa Stoner got dirty. Yes, yeah, she oh, did. Oh, yeah, she did. And that was... Mm-mm-mm. That was sliding. <laughs> I don't know what you're... Mm-mm-mm. What? Sliding in a second. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. One, yeah, there yeah, we yeah. go. One. I did, I did take a picture of that, and I'll, I'll edit it into this unless I'm pressed for time, but... uh Took a picture of it and uploaded it to the Pounders page. She's just covered from front to, you know, all yeah. down her front and just like, just wet, just wet grass and mud. And uh, it was a uh, hustle. That's yeah. it. That's what it takes in the Raptor Peninsula winter, whatever we're calling it. It sucked because then for the rest of the day, like, she was cold as shit. Like, <laughs> she, she was like, had her jacket over her, like, just shivering. Speaking of being freezing cold, that's the prediction for this upcoming weekend. Uh, going to be a chilly one. The sun should be out, but we're topping out at 32 degrees for a couple of days. <laughs> hey, freezing. Zeus! Oh, pack your double thermals. It's still early to tell. You don't know. How it's Troy will get triple wrapped up in his bubble coats. Yeah. Thermal yeah. underwear. We've been pretty Scotty D will have a more accurate forecast here by Wednesday. Yeah, and then everyone will diss him for it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> he was good on he was good on his weather forecast this week. Yeah. Granted, it's not him doing any meteorological. He just copy and paste it from his weather app. But he's, so. he's able to do the screenshot <laughs> from weather.com. Something seventy percent of the league can't yeah. handle. And then we just, <laughs> then we blame him. Yeah. Yeah, it's your fault. Uh, everyone needs a villain. Fault. He's my choice of villain. Alright. All right, week three previews. action previews coming up next. Thanks.